Hi guys, Kerry Gray here back at Junilup Resort and today we're going to be helping you with your follow through, making sure that we're getting maximum power and extension of our body. We're going to use this little alignment rod here to help you with that feeling and that move. Let's get into it. Now one of the big differences between recreational and tour level players is where their body finishes through impact. If we're looking for maximum power, control and efficiency with our golf swings, we would like to see you finish in a position where your hips were forward, your chest was tall and slightly back, and then from here the club over your shoulder. As an effect, you can see that my trail foot is also up on its toe. So how do we work on this? Well, what I've got in the ground here is an alignment rod. And if I'm setting up and I've got this red stick for reference sakes in the middle of my stance, I'm going to have this about a grip length outside my lead hip. Now with most recreational golfers, what we would tend to see is as the golf club would move through the ball, their hips would stay uh, well back of this uh, green stick here and even sometimes move even further away. And that would give you that look where your chest is quite down and you don't look powerful through the golf ball. So now moving on to what the professional would do. Well, the professional, as they would get to the top, their hips would turn in a circle. They would then have a transition where there is a bump into the lead side. And then the hips would continue to move forward all the way to the point in where the hips are touching this green stick outside that lead foot. Now, when I do that, the majority of my pressure finishes on the outside of that lead foot. Very different to what you would see when your hips were back all your weight would be more so on that trail foot into that position there. Okay, so starting off with some practice swings, what I want you to do, we're just using this red line as a reference for the center of the stance. Uh, this is not necessarily ball position. So we're gonna start with the club out in front and we're gonna make some slow swings. And essentially what I want you to feel is that you're really trying to push your hips as far forward in that transition and that downswing. So we're able to get them touching this little green stick by our side. So once again, push, 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 push. And you can see that when I finish tall, my chest is raised, my hips are forward and the weight is on my front foot. Now, when that comes into striking the golf ball, you can start off slow just by clipping a few down there. And then as you get more attuned to this feeling, you can continue to pick up speed to the point where you're hitting full shots, really focusing on getting those hips touching that green stick. Now, the more you do that, you can see that I've taken a divot in front of this red line, which was in the center of my stance. That is also indicative of what a lot of high level players would tend to do that hit the golf ball extremely well off the club face. So great little drill for you to set up to help with that motion of getting your hips further forward towards the target. You can tend to try and wanna over exaggerate this. About a grip length, well that's more than enough to give you the feeling of getting those hips moving forward and through and finishing tall. So if you're struggling with your ball striking and you feel like you're not getting through the golf ball and finishing tall enough, try this little stick drill, a grip outside the lead leg, try and get those hips touching that stick after you hit the shot and I'm sure it will help. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe, comment below if you try this drill out and it helps, I'd love to hear about it. But until next time, I'm Kerry Gray, thanks for watching.